In this video, I'm going to explain standard deviation and variance. I'm going to walk you through an example. I also have the same example in Microsoft Excel and the link you can find below. This is what the final product looks like when I'm finished. I also have an entire playlist on standard deviation. You can find a link below. So let's get started. The equations for variance and standard deviation can be a bit intimidating. And I'm going to walk you through each of these variables one by one and explain what they mean. In practice, standard deviation is used much more than variance, but I'm going to talk about both and explain both. Any equation, any mathematical equation, is just a series of steps on what you're supposed to do. And I'm going to walk you through each of those steps one by one. The blue XI is for the observations or the number of observations. And I'm just going to make up some numbers here. The XI is shorthand notation for the number of observations. For example, XI or X1 means the first observation. X2 means the second observation. And so on and so forth. X3, X4, X5, X6. And what this is, is this is all combined into XI, and XI means all the observations. I know it's annoying, but it's common to drop the I. The next part of the equation is the mean. And the mean is the sum of all values, all observations, divided by the number of observations. So I sum up all the observations, and hopefully this sums to 96. And then I divide 96, I divide that by the number of observations. And in this case, I have six observations. And this equates to 16. Now I'm going to put 16 in its own column. And my instructions in my equation say, take the observation minus the mean. So I'll take 16 minus 16. 15 minus 16, 19 minus 16, so on and so forth I go. Now my next step is I'm going to actually do that calculation. So 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. 15 minus 16 is equal to negative 1. 19 minus 16 is equal to 3. 15 minus 16 is negative 1 again, and so on and so forth we go. Make sense? By the way, if you sum all these values of this column, it should always equal zero or be a very small number if you're rounding. Should it be close to zero or exactly zero? The next step is to take the observation minus the mean and square it, like that. So I take zero and I square it, which is equal to zero. I take negative 1 and square it, which is equal to 1. 3 squared is 9. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 3 squared again. Oh, it's 1. I'm going too fast. Negative 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. Now I'm going to add all these up. I'm going to sum them. So I'll use a little sum sign, which is sigma. Sum up all these values. And if I sum them up, it should be 24. 24 is the numerator part of the equation, or the top part, the number on top, the numerator. So now I take 24 divided by n minus 1, or the number of ob observations minus 1. So again, the number of observations is 6. So 24 divided by 6 minus 1 is 24 divided by 5. So the variance is equal to 4.8. Now I'm going to take the variance and when I take the square root of the variance, I get the standard deviation. And the square root of 4.8 is equal to 
2.19. And there you have it. That's how you calculate variance and standard deviation. Would that take about five minutes or so? Five minutes and 45 seconds or so? So share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, links to all kinds of stuff below. Subscribe, like me, and make sure you check out the playlist on standard deviation and variance.